Hello everyone and welcome to this mod review on Festa Slasher, probably the first one. Maybe a mod do a few, maybe not. We'll just have to see. Anyway, we've got three mods lined up and they, all these mods are good in their own way. First, I'll go on to the most interesting one. Now, this is the Ford, uh, well, it's a six-wheeler, as you can see. So, it's obviously something custom. You've got an extra door there. So, yes, let's take a look at this on the store page. It costs $94,000. It's got a 700 horsepower engine. It costs $10 a day. And it doesn't, it goes a lot faster than 90 kilometers per hour. Anyway, let's get back into it. Now, this is what you get stock standard. You can, you've got heaps of paint options. Oh, you got pink. That reminds me of the pink voucher on the pink wheels. Now, you can also get blue metallic colors, like different colored metallic paints. I'll, I'll just put back to hardy color for now. Now, you can get decal for it, as illustrated in this photo there. Um, you can also get different reels. And this one that I've got here, it's um, it's got a different paint job, but yeah, let's drive it. It's got a good interior. There's another seat back there. So yes. Now, what else can I say? It's an automatic transmission, although that doesn't mean anything in the game. It's just got the automatic gear stick in there. Okay, now let's go. It's got a good turbo sound. And as you can see, it goes 150 kilometers per hour. And yes, this thing was made to climb mountains. So it's a very good off-roader. So yes, I might find a tall spot. As you can see, this is really fast. As you can see, working indicators, which makes this road legal. Yeah. Like, there's pictures on the internet of builds just like these. I don't know, some of them might be photoshopped, but yeah. Yeah, this probably runs like this, probably maybe more real. Okay, now. Be way too steep. Now, how about if I just. Oh no, no. Oh, great. That did not go to plan. Okay, that. I didn't. That didn't really work, showing you the operating capabilities of this vehicle. But yeah, I'll just I'll just climb up this hill over here. So that 700 horsepower engine is what it needs. Like probably this hill, probably that hill is not that challenging. But yeah, I'd say. But yeah, there's a few hills that was around here that. So fairly steep and yeah this vehicle does a good job at it so yes okay we'll just park it here now I'll rate this mod probably 8, eight out of 10 it's got straps it's got a gooseneck hitch and yeah so that makes it good for farm work so it's not just some fun vehicle so yes it's good in its own way so 8 out of 10 now Let's go back to the other tractors. Now, the reason for me doing this video is because I got a, I got someone commented in one of my videos, and he said, "And I found a tractor just like your grey one." And I went, "And okay." So I ran and looked on modab.us, and this is what I found. It's just like the 35, but yeah, he said he found. He said he. You may have found a mod tractor just like my grey tractor, but no. This is... But yeah, this is close to what one of my tractors are at least. Not the one that I was looking for, but yeah. Oh well. 
that's what inspired me to make this mod review video. Anyway, this is a Tate 42 Di. Now, oh no, no, no. Um, yes, yes. Now, the backstory of this tractor is Tafe is an Indian company that make manufacture tractors, and from what I went on on their website just a couple of minutes ago, that they're the biggest tractor manufacturers in the um, Eastern world or something like that. So yes, like they've got 58 years of friendship or relationship with Massey Ferguson. So that's probably where they're getting the designs coming from. Like I've, like I think they've actually got Perkins in some of them. But yeah, I'm, yeah, I think they're actually built in India, so they're not very good quality. Yeah, there's quite a few videos of Indian tractors, and yeah, they, they can get destroyed within seconds. Now let's get into this. Okay, straight away it says Lizard T42. Oh, and before we go driving it around, I should show you it in the store. So it's got a good thumbnail photo, and it's got the crater there by Kranzia. I don't know. But yeah, 320 horsepower. Okay, that is certainly not what a tractor of this is like. It should be like 37 or 35. 200 litre, that's probably too much. 45 kilometers per hour. Okay, so there's a bit of the stacking there. Like, you can choose the wheels you want. So, in case, um, like, for our oh, money too gray. You can even do the pink wheels. But, yeah, I won't buy this. Okay, now, you can get wide tires which put, which make the front lift up for some reason. Yes. You can also get the no cans or communal tires. Okay, now let's drive this around. Now, one thing I've noticed is that the RPM gauge works, steering wheel doesn't. But yeah, this actually does look like a 35. Like it doesn't have the air cleaner there. The exhaust is on the other side, but those is um levers there on the bonnets, they are actually there on the 35, on my 35, but they're chrome. So yeah, this is, you could ugly say that it's a new new model 35 or a reproduction 35. Uh, yes. Actually, Massey Ferguson are making a 35 still, but that it's more for African and that markets, for airports and that stuff, banana plantations. Now, yeah, now it goes a bit fast at 45 kilometers per hour. So now let me just park here. Now, what my honest opinion about this tractor is, yeah, it's actually a good tractor, but there's a few things like probably it could have more details. Like you can still you can see the spark star motor there. Like it's got a few details. Yeah, it's yeah, it's actually probably the wheels may need to be a bit too big realistically for this tractor. Ooh. And yeah, it looks like it's got a top link here, and 35s definitely don't have a top link. Well, not mine anyway. But at least it's got. Oh, the category 2 or category 1 freight flight linkage. So, yes, that's good. I think I'll give this tractor probably a 4 out of 10 because since it's it's got a fair way to go yet because, yeah, it's too big and there's a couple of errors with it as I understand it. And, yeah, there's also a Western version of this. I'll link that down below as well. So yes, it's very good. Now, to the last tractor. Now, we are at the last tractor and I'm glad to have this back. This is the Challenger MT755E. Yes. Like, I like this thing a lot in... Se Sorry, my recording just stopped there. I like this tractor a lot in 17. And yeah, I, when we got 19, I, it was a, I was a bit of de depressed really that this wasn't around. 
Like, this is a good tractor. It's surprising it's not in one of my favorite tractor lists. But I might put it on there because I I like the design of this tractor anyway. And yeah, so just a couple minutes ago, I looked on Mod Hub and there it was. And yeah, so I was really excited to have this back in the game. As you can see, it's won the machine of the year in 2015. And that's um, it's not Agri Technico, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, it's actually a very good looking tractor. And yeah, I think these aren't in production anymore. I may be wrong, but yeah, they, they're probably coming to end soon because they're, these days they're making the new design, which is this one, if it loads. Yeah, this is the new design they're making. Like the headlights are like from a Fent 900 or 1050 or something. Yeah, it's got like a Fent front to it, Fent 1050 front. And yeah, you also got the Fent version as well. Anyway, now to this Challenger, it caught it, its um minimum horsepower or its lowest engine horsepower is 384 horsepower, um 659 liters diesel and then 87 litres of diesel exhaust fluid 40 kilometres travel speed now let's go into it you don't have much options other than the engines so yeah yeah it's really good to have this back now one thing I've noticed from 17 is it's got different sounds now like I used to enjoy the beep sound but yeah when it starts up but Anyway, you can't have everything, so now let's just drive down. Oh, when am I mount? I've, I've mounted a post. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, this tractor is pretty good. Like, they've clear. it's by Giant, so clearly they know the standards of this game. Let's just do a few donuts. So, yeah. Now, there's really nothing negative since it's made by Giants. They know the game very well, so they, so it's not like that um, TAFE 42 DI over there. It, it's actually really, it's working very good. Like, they've remastered it for 19, and they clearly have done a very good job at it. So I'll probably rate this 9 out of 10. Like, obviously, obviously... Now, just at the end of the video, I'd like to say that that my, these are my honest opinions and they also haven't been tested in a paddock or a field depending on what nation you come from. So, yes, yes. Don't, please don't base my ratings as how good the mod is. That's my opinion. Like, probably this tractor here, which is probably the least least um, rated that I did. It probably might have potential. Like I think this one's overpowered, so yes, I think it, I think it might have more power than this one. Anyway, that's me from Festa Slasher. So yes, I'll have probably might have a video of me working on the 35 the next hell of days. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, and yes, Festa Slasher may return soon. Bye for now.